What's going on everybody? It's your girl Sneaker Mom back in the building, back with another review for you guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new Air Jordan 1 Low Powder Blue. Let's get into it. start out with the same normal Joy One Low OG box. It's all black with a red Nike on the top. You got your Nike on this side, same on this side. But then we're gonna get to the front of the box and it reads Women's Air Joy and One Retro Low OG. And the colorway is white, powder blue, and black. Let's get into the inside. Opening up the box, as you know, we had that same normal stamp of approval right here on the top of the box. Same normal cream tissue paper, nothing different on the inside. But let's get into the main ingredient of this video, and that is the Women's Air Jordan 1 Low Powder Blue. All right, first off, I'm gonna start off by just saying, man, I love Lowe's, and this colorway right here was a must have for me. I was so excited to be able to cop them actually early because they actually don't come out in the US until September 28th, but they dropped on in in the UK like a few couple days ago. So I was able to cop them early and um, man, I'm just glad I had these in hand. I don't have to worry about the US release because I got them, so I'm good to go. But as we all know, normal, they used, they was calling it the UNC colorway, but now I see it's changed to the powder blue. As we all know, this is from Jordan's alma mater, North Carolina, got that North Carolina blue. Pretty much any shoe with North Carolina blue on it, you can't go wrong with it. So these right here were a must cop plus they're Oh, uh, Jordan 1 Low, the OG version, which doesn't have the big check that I know that they all said it. it used to be on the OG Lows, but we got a we got a normal check, so hey, we just gotta ride with it. That's what they doing with these Jordan 1 Low OGs right now, so that's what we got. So let's get into the aspects of the shoe. As we can see, we got this all black and white uh, tumble leather going throughout the whole shoe. White tumble leather right here on the toe. You got that black leather right here on the front of the toe, also coming across to the side of the shoe. Night black Nike check right here in that leather. You got that white leather background in the back of it going around to the back of the shoe as we got that nice powder blue. I'm still gonna go with the UNC blue cause that's just what it looks like. UNC blue right here, black on the back with the uh, UNC blue leather. You got the Jordan wings right here on the back of the shoe that's in black. Uh, it's black leather also, a little, a little stamp. Inside of the shoe you got your Nike Air in that North Carolina blue colorway, very nice. Going back to the front of the shoe, you got the black shoelaces. They did come with extra laces, which I'll get to on the next shoe, which are very nice. You got the Nike Air right here in that North Carolina blue, powder blue all right here on the top of the tongue. Uh, going back to the side, you got that nice rubber uh, white bottom on the side. Flipping to the bottom of the shoe, you got that all powder blue, North Carolina blue on the bottom. Overall, nice shoe. It's a low. I love lows, so I had to rock with them. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Are you go Do you like Jordan 1 lows? Are you a Jordan 1 high person? You let me know. Lows or highs? Let me know. Are you going to try to go for these when they come out on September 28th? Or are you going to pass? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. But this was the right shoe. Let's get to the left shoe. It looks the same as that way. You got that black and white tumble leather come across the whole shoe. White tumble leather right here on the front of the uh, toe box. Right here, you got your black leather come across the toe also. Come across to the side. That black Nike check with that white tumble leather in the back. Going to the back of the shoe, you got that nice UNC powder blue color with the Black wings stamp right here, Air Jordan wings on the back. Inside the shoe, same thing, Nike Air on the inside right there. Coming back to the front right here, you got that Nike Air on the tongue and that North Carolina blue with your black shoe laces. And as I said before, they did come with an extra set of laces, but this time they're not on the shoe. I guess they're trying to, oh, part of the move to zero line. So now we have them in the cardboard box, something different. We're used to that little plastic box um, bag hanging on the side of the shoe and all the lows this time. We got this brown box right here, and it says, as you can see, I'm trying right here, it says move to zero. You got the Jordan symbol right there on the back right here. You got the Jordan symbol. Hope y'all can see that. And then it just says shoelaces. And as I said, nice powder blue laces. I think I'm going with the powder blue laces. Y'all let me know which one would y'all go with. Would you go with the black laces 
what you go with these powder blue laces. I'm thinking these powder blue is gonna bring them out. That's what I'm going with. But y'all let me know. Now I'm gonna come, what would you do? Powder blue or black, or I'm thinking even some whites would look good with these, but I'm gonna switch them out to the powder blue laces in my own foot. So y'all stay tuned to the end so you can watch the own foot and how you choose which one would you go with, the black laces or the powder blue laces. Like I said, I'm going with that powder blue. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this shoe. It's a Jordan 1 Low. It's a UNC colorway. Can't go wrong. Nice low nice leather leather is not horrible it's not spectacular either but it's not horrible so it's doable it's what we get in these days so we gotta roll with it overall very nice shoe air Jordan one powder blue aka unc y'all let me know down in the comment below what y'all think about these would you go for them are you gonna pass on them y'all let me know if you're new to watching my videos hit that notification bell i mean sorry hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can know when i post all my videos Follow me on Instagram at sneakermom1721. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So until the next time, it's your girl Sneaker Mom. Peace.